Hi there folks and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here uh, and luckily just between beer reviews, so I've just done one beer review that I'll be putting up on the channel shortly, but I might put this video up first. Anyway, it's time for another beer haul. Um, so I've got a big delivery here that's just come courtesy of the DPD man, DPD Dave. He dropped it off uh, and if this doesn't help you know what it is. I don't know what will. From Hebden Bridge to your fridge, Vocation Brewery. Yes, I went and ordered some stuff directly from their website. Um, Vocation, my favourite craft brewer. Obviously, they a lot of their stuff that you can get from supermarkets. Um, but they've gone through a bit of a rebrand at the minute and the change in the branding. Um, so I managed to pick up a few things that were sort of on sale, the old branding, and then got some of the stuff for the new branding. So should we take a look and see what's inside? Right, we've got a beastie box here. Uh, I have in here, ooh, this to start off with. Now I wanted one of these for ages. A vocation glass. This is the old logo now. So this is this is the old logo, but it is a pint glass, a proper craft beer pint glass for jigging and swilling. So that'll probably replace the old moot cider glass that I use. So yeah, I've got a vocation uh, crafty beer glass, buzzing like that. So I think we can get rid of that. That was in there. Um, we also have in here, again, of the old branding, a t-shirt. And I shall be wearing this with pride when I do future beer reviews. Let's see how you get into this bag. Just going to rip it open. Great entertainment, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, it, uh, this was reduced as well, um, probably because it's the old branding. But it is Vocation. Life and Death. At that. Oh, actually, it's actually got that's the new vocation writing on there, I believe. That is the new vocation right up. You'll see in a minute. But yeah, Life and Death t shirt. So, of course, Life and Death beer, um, their staple IPA. I've done it on the channel, comes in 330ml cans. They're relaunching it with the new logo in 440ml cans, actually. Um, but yeah, Life and Death t shirt, buzzing, buzzing about that. Right, so what we've got in here. Should I have a couple of cans of this, which I do. So this is new, um, available only on the website. This is not going into supermarkets. Uh, it's th And this is their new look can. So you see what they've done is they've gone vocation. They've got a big V, which is their now, now new logo. Um, so this is new music. It's a hazy pale ale coming in at 4% ABV. 440 milliliter can, and it's got like a cool guitar on it. I quite like the new branding actually. I know I've seen a couple of videos and people saying, what are Vocation doing? Uh, so yeah, I've got two cans of that. So two cans of the new music. One I'll review, the other one will just be for my pleasure. Um, I've got two cans of this, which I've had quite a few times on cask. Um, and again, it's the new branding of it, but it is their bread and butter. So this is their entry level, if you like. It's a pale ale. At 3.9 percent this is a dry hot pale ale but this is almost like their entry level their best bitter if you like not best bitter but you know what i mean the session stuff there's that and then the heart and soul which is 4.4 percent so if you compare that that used to be the old branding so where is it the life and death here you go the life and death here so this is the old branding very recognizable uh, black can with the with the logo on the top um, and then it just saying it's always something and something. That's what all their core beers are called. So that's the old, the new, the old style, and that's the new. Obviously, different beers, but you get you see how different the branding is from Vocation. I'll set that back on there, ready to be in the background for the next review. So I've got two bread and butters. Up next, I have, and I'll save that for later. I'm just trying to see what else I've got in here. That's the same as that. Uh, this, I only bought one of these um, because I just thought I'd get it for reviewing purposes. The can, the damage, put my teeth back in. The can's a bit damaged. Vocation. This is their Twisted Sour. Uh, a bit too much reflection of light on the can there. Oh, it's their old branding though. Um, and it is a Valencia and Blood Orange Sour. Again, I've only done a handful of sour beers on the channel. Uh, and I quite enjoyed them. They were, they were very different. Um, Although I've been told the ones that I had weren't particularly that sour. So maybe this one is. I have faith in vocation. I have faith. 
and then I've got two of these um, again old branding one will be for reviewing purposes and one will be for my pleasure and it is vocation and it is spectrum eclipse six percent IPA nice can work there um, you probably could have gone with the new branding on that because it's not got the something and something and just a basic black can with different colour writing like the Corbiers. Um, and if you, if you go on vocations, well, obviously I went on vocation website to order this stuff. If you go on their website, there is a bit of a write up. There's a bit of an article on there about the rebranding, and how they've gone with it. They were sort of going along the lines of the, um, the one-offs weren't the same as the core range. So they wanted to bring it all together. So that all the beers now are going to have this big V and then, in, inside the V is going to be a different pattern to represent each beer. I don't think that the new branding looks bad, but I just, you knew that was vocation. That was always vocation. The vocation on the top, there's something and something, boom, it was recognizable. But do you know what? Companies evolve, times change. I'm not really that fussed. Uh, and the last one I've got, again, it's all branding and I've got two cans of this. Um, but one is going to be for me and one I'm going to give to Andy who's a friend of the channel because it is Vocations Imperial Kirsch it is a chocolate and cherry stout coming in at a whopping 11% ABV 11% barrel age stout um, there is also a new one come out in Tesco I've not even got to Tesco yet to look at the new range that is called Imperial Banana uh, that's under the new branding with the V on it and the vocation at the top. Uh, that's yeah, Imperial Banana, and that's a Imperial Chocolate and Banana Stout. That's eleven point four percent. So stuff like that will knock me sideways if I drink a lot of it. So I'm gonna have one can of that for reviewing purposes, and one is gonna be for Andy. Uh, and that's Shalot. That's all she wrote. That is what I got in my delivery today from Hebden Bridge to my fridge wicked thank you very much uh, vocation brewery love it uh, and i shall be probably reviewing these well i've got a week and a half off work so i've got time to do it um but i'm going to a beer festival on saturday so i'll get around to it when i get around to it but yeah thank you very much for watching like share and subscribe and we'll see you again for another review here on the hop house ciao for now people